The following is brought to you by TruthTimeRadio.com. You know, it takes more than one hot day to make summer. Consistency is key. Bible students need tools, not toys, and Truth Time will equip you to better handle Bible questions. God has placed divisions in His Word. We must respect those divisions by comparing Scripture with Scripture, rightly dividing the Word of Truth. Many have missed the truth, preferring tradition over truth. After investing so much time, energy, and outright support, hey, it's hard to admit that you may have been wrong. You may have bought into some misconceptions that need to die. What I have found is, uh, more often than not, people don't really want to hear the truth. The truth makes many uncomfortable. They'd rather you give them fluff, falsehoods, baseless platitudes, warm and fuzzies that doesn't rock their boat. And you're a prime target for many. They would love for you to become their carbon copy mockingbird, afraid to stand up and stand out. Truth Time Radio will assist you in becoming workmen. Sadly, some have forgotten how to swim unless they're swimming down the main stream. And some don't swim at all. They just float. And that's what dead fish do. We've all heard the phrase, just go with the flow. But someone really, sincerely searching for truth should never just go with the flow. I've said it before, many today are facing an identity crisis. Satan's policy of evil is to brainwash and condition you to forget who you really are. Now I know to some of you this kind of clear, upfront and candid truth talk can be offensive, but you need to hear it. You say to yourself, I don't need to study and rightly divide the word of truth. I let my preacher do that for me. Yeah, I bet you do. God tells you to test and prove all things. Now, that's not popular today, but that's what the book says. This applies to male and female, but especially the males. If you're a real man, a leader who watches over his family, I hope you get upset with me. I hope you don't like what I'm saying, so you'll go home, get your Bible out, and get to work on proving me wrong. George Leitenberg said, The most dangerous untruths are truths moderately distorted. Certain things have been taught throughout church history for so long and so consistently that it's just assumed without question they must be true. Some receive the truth as if you've placed a burr under their proverbial saddle. They reject the rational process of reasoning. They've been fed so much disinformation that they're no longer capable of discerning the truth. Disinformation is the art of providing just enough true information so that when false information is provided, it'll be accepted as truth. Disinformation is used by many today to manipulate their audience at the rational level by either discrediting conflicting information or supporting false conclusions. A common disinformation tactic is to reveal part of the truth while presenting it as the whole truth. Doug Gwynn once said, Truth is not determined by majority vote. You see, people will say they love truth, but they really just want to believe that what they love is true. The last thing religious and government leaders want is an informed public, capable of critical thinking. Well, that's where truth time comes in. We're here to inform you. We'll present the facts so that you can make an informed decision. And so castles made of sand fall in the sea eventually. Galatians 4.16 Am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? For more answers to your Bible questions, stop by truthtimeradio.com.